Yes. Yes, Claudio, I was asking you, you were thrown out of the... Uh... Yeah, the law gave it very deal because when they sell the building, uh, they, the, the lease expired, they don't renew the lease. The Chinese took over and they want his own business, open his own business. And I went to court, I filed, first time I gave him a triple the rent, almost a triple the rent. And uh, when, uh, you know, the, we agree what we do, do all year to say that, then when at the end of the expiry that, I go to court again because the Chinese says, I want for my own, take out the store, take of out course. the Chinese, and, and I need a place. Cost too much money to find, and, and I find this store away, and 15 months ago, I moved from there to away. And how long have you been on this block? This block. When I came from Italy in 1950, I went and lived in that block right over there, across the street. Right? Oh, really? Where the, today is a disgrace. The people that bought the building disgrace. They disgrace America, too. You know? Yeah, that's quite you know? ugly, huh? And my three daughter, see over there, my three daughter? Yeah. They were born in that, that house. Seriously? 35. Now I move after 60 years, <laughs> I move 338 My across God. the street. So you've been cutting hair for 60 years? I cut hair for 70 years. Seriously? I'm 82 years old and I started when I was 12 years old in Italy. My God, where about in Italy did you start? Salerno, Campagna Salerno. And how many people do you cut a day? Huh? How many people do you cut a day? No, okay. Well, I heard you get. You know. uh, right now, I'm 80 years old. 80 years old, and I got gentlemen people like this man over here that uh, is my customer for 40 years and he's still with me. Okay? Oh, wow. And he followed me from the other side to over here, right? That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And so these are just still the old chairs you have? You just this moved This is them. more than 100 years old, those chairs, because you know, when I went to work in the other barber shop, was a Another guy worked there, and yeah. then he retired, he died, and I took over the, in a very short time. Sure. Have you experienced any crime here ever on the, in Harlem? Huh? Have you experienced any crime here ever in Harlem, or no? I don't want to prosecute it. But, uh, 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 no, that's uh, not important. But you are I sort of... No crime. I was happy all my life in the other place, and I'm still happy, but not too happy like I was over there. Yeah. But I had my loyal customer that followed me away. I have a few customers now. I'm a do good. I'm okay, and that's a, that's all I want. And what about your uh, children or grandchildren? You gotta go. You the DA. You gotta go and ask them. What about your children? Are they following up on the business or the grandchildren? Or well, I have two grandchildren, and they're in school. And my my old two daughters that they got married but no children, and I got two so grandchildren. But you you will be cutting for another number of years, huh? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Ah. I don't know. Well, it, we, go, we go with God. When God says, "Give up," I give up. Is this still your authentic logo here, Claudio? Huh? Is this still the authentic logo you have on the awning, Claudio? Claudio, that's the original Claudio. Is that the original logo? Yeah, well, this is the original. See, look, look at the, the, this is the, my, my landlord, yeah, the new landlord. Right. Baba won't be clipped. A doctor from Mansign Hospital, when he saw me on the internet, he come over to me, says, Claudia, you got a problem with your land. I got a nice store over here, I'll give it to you. And he gave it to me for the same price that I was paying over there. Fantastic, that's good. Yeah. Would you would you mind if we use your Claudio for a t-shirt? Claudio? Yeah. Claudio? Because we'd like to make a story of your fantastic uh, legend here. Okay. And uh, we love the logo of Claudio, so we'd like to put it on a t-shirt. Is that okay? Look, look how beautiful. This was a song that uh, uh, happened not too long ago. They came one, one guy like you over here. You come, they take the picture of my my tools. See, yeah, the yeah. same tools. See, I saw it. See, the same tools, the same machine, and that's that's me away. Clutter the mess of the trail. Okay. Right. 
and the, the next day, this was three months ago, I, I see him on the little paper. Nice story, huh? Yeah, I see, but look how nice it looks, huh? Of course. Well, we'd like to do the same story, but I just... And then like... even, even read this about Julia Papa. Is that online as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's Julia Papa. They give him big, big, big... And then, look at my best man, Rango. Uh, uh, congressman for 42 years. Excuse me, one man. Uh, <laughs> congressman for... The, and uh, Rodrigo... Melissa, Melissa Babarito, City Council, and that's me with them, you see? Wow, you got, huh? you got a lot of stars here, huh? Yeah. And then, look over there, 10 years ago, the superstar, the Benny Suit, the superstar, 10 years ago. Right, right. Huh? Make a bigger film, a bigger, bigger video. And then look at this other one over here, Geno F. Lopez. Oh Genoa, God, she's Genoa, your wife? And I came in in the video. Oh, you know, seriously? See, I'm sit right when she come in, see, she come in in my barber shop, video of the barber shop. She come in and I was sit right there. It was She was a great, great, she had a great Does She lived in this neighborhood, no? No, she lived in the Bronx with the mother and, the, you know. Right. And she loved the Spanish people. She loved the Arona kind of people. You know, she's a very, very beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous, she, though. Yeah.